All right, guys, so I just want to go over how to add a second solid state drive uh, to your Lenovo Legion 5, the i7 10th generation. Um, basically, I've just got a one terabyte Samsung 860 QVO uh, solid state drive here, and it is going to go right here. You're going to have a plate. You don't have to worry about anything else. You have all the screws already that are holding this plate in, and you also have the ribbon here that you're going to connect to your new solid state drive i removed the case and the four screws that hold it in and this is what we had our uh, plate sitting in and remember i told you about the screws that you don't need to worry about to mount your new ssd they're actually uh, attached to the bottom here so we're going to take those out and mount our ssd inside of the case here and then replace the case with the ribbon cable, what you want to do now, you're going to want to attach this in first. It'll be a lot easier to get it in later. So what you want to do, let me see if I can get in close enough here, is just lift this lip up and pop your cable out. All right. Now let's go ahead and remove these screws. With the four screws on each side, you just screw into the SSD through the bracket that you've installed it in and what we're going to want to do next is attach the ribbon that you pulled off to the end of your SSD so you're just going to want to line it up and push down so that it is flush with your SSD in the bracket and next you are going to want to place your SSD bracket back where you removed it from originally when it was holding the plates and make sure you don't lose any of your screws along the way the screws for the bottom casing as well uh, there's three shorter ones and uh, six longer ones i believe so don't mix those up all right now after you reinstall the bracket and put the screws back in that you took out from before you are going to want to reattach your ribbon uh, right in here so you want to slide it in evenly and once you have the ribbon installed you are going to want to flip this back over and make sure that that's closed and if your ribbon is attached correctly you should be able to pull on it and it is going to stay attached there or start lifting the lid up before it comes to get detached just don't pull on it too hard and that is pretty much it i'm going to show you guys after i start everything back up but all you have to do from here is replace the cover and once you've got your laptop set back up is just press the power button and then repeatedly press the f2 key should bring you into your bios now here we're going to just take a look at more settings and then you should be in your information tab and you're going to see your CPU and then you're going to see down here your SSD. You're going to see the SSD that you installed. It's the Samsung SSD 860 QVO uh, one terabyte. And then you're going to be able to just escape out of this. That's how you add a second solid state drive. Of course, if you upgrade your original drive, you're going to have to uh, plug in your USB to install Windows. All right, guys, once you have your computer up and running, you are going to want to check under your files, this PC, and you are going to see that your new SSD is not showing up. So what you're going to want to do is right click on this PC, go into manage, wait for it to pull up here. And then we are going to go to storage and open the disk management. And then you are going to see your new SSD show up down here. Now, what you're going to want to do, it says unallocated. What you're going to want to do is add it. Right click it, new simple volume. Hit next, next, next. Perform quick format. Make sure that's checked and then finish. And it's going to say formatting, healthy, primary partition. All right. And then we are going to see it show up here. We have our new volume. All right, guys, that is all we're going to need to do. We are set up and ready to go now. Don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with more information on mostly games, but every now and then I will uh, 
you know, post videos like this to help people out, uh, even upgrading consoles and everything as well. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.